So I've got a question. Is Jeff natty? Full natty, why? Is he natural? It's the aesthetics industry, right? It's the fucking aesthetics industry, man. Dude on stage with the best aesthetics fucking wins. Dude with the most aesthetics gets the fucking contracts. Right, it's aesthetics, man. It's not health. People confuse it with health, but uh, it's a crazy world out there. It's a crazy world out there. I started working in gyms in 1999. I started working in the industry before a lot of you guys were even born. Right? And I have these people telling me, oh, it's just hard work. It's just hard work. It's fucking hard work. And some other things as well. <laughs> you think. I train with Olympic level athletes. I've trained with some Olympic athletes. I've trained with Lance Armstrong. I've had dinners and meals with some of the highest paid athletes on the planet. Talk to some of the best coaches around, behind the scenes as well. After hours, closed door shit. I've had coaches tell me stuff and before they opened their mouths, they sort of looked out in the lab to see if anyone else was there. These sort of conversations happened almost 15 years ago, 14 years ago. So I, I learned at a very, very early age what the truth is. No one's fucking natty. No one's fucking natty. Alright? It's money, man. If you're earning a living from it, in a really, really competitive industry, you have to do what is necessary to get the job. You have to meet your sponsor's contracts, obligations. This is how it is. Google up Christian Boving interview. And Christian Boving's a famous fitness model. And he was open about it. He says, look, I'll take gear, man. I've got, a, I've got a, a testosterone deficiency, so I'm not taking steroids. I'm taking medicine from my doctor. And he did it on the documentary, Bigger, Stronger, Faster. He did that interview. He lost his job. He lost his job even before the fucking doco was released. Just on the rumor he gave the interview, his supplement company said, all right, see you later. So that put a big fucking message out there to the health and fitness world. You do not fucking admit you're not natty. If you admit you're not natty, we will fuck you off. Well, look what happened to Lance Armstrong. When Lance Armstrong came out and said, yeah, I've gotten the gear, what the fuck happened? He got dropped, he got dusted. You don't admit shit. <laughs> That's the golden rule, man. I'm going to a friend's house now, I'm going for a walk, dropping off some, uh, some Primo testing. And that documentary I did recently on YouTube where I bought heaps of shit from the local doctor, enough to run a World Cup soccer team. My mate's out. He's in the script as well, and he's like, Harley, can you hit me up with a pack? So I'm dropping off some Primo testing, you know? <laughs> Which, all that is, that's a male contraceptive. That's all it is, it's a male contraceptive. And we've got 15-year-old girls taking the female pill. And we've got people on YouTube making incredible careers taking contraceptive uh, pills, injections, whatever. Because this shit fucking works, all right? So, is someone natty? Get fucking real. So my buddy's ascetic as fuck, and I said, would you want to be on YouTube sometime? He's nah, Harley, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's an interesting world, it's an interesting world. If you admit the truth, you get punished. If you're a sporting hero or an ascetic person on the internet and you admit the truth, you get slammed. Remember Ziz? Ziz participated a lot of bodybuilding, for, bodybuilding forums. I spoke to Ziz in uh, Sydney a few years ago. I said, Ziz, man, you're pushing a bit too hard, bro. You might want to just tone it, down, tone it down a notch. And he's like, yeah, yeah, man, fucking live once. YOLO. That's what he said to me, fucking YOLO, bro. YOLO. You only live once. That's the generation we're talking about, man. You go to these music festivals, man. <laughs> I'm into health. I go to Pop Eckies and go to a fucking music festival. Don't sleep for two days. Come on, man. You gotta understand what these kids are fucking into, man. You gotta get up to fucking speed what the fuck is going on in society, bro. You know, you just. You're fucking tripping. If you think people are gonna go, yeah, man, this is what I take. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You're gonna fucking harass me and say, oh, you take gear, you're not natty, oh, blah, blah, blah. These people have to fucking tell you bullshit. So you fucking gullible fucks buy their shit and believe me, oh, if I buy that bike, if I buy that baseball, if I buy that you know, mass build or whatever, I'll look like them. You never fucking look like them. Because you're not willing to do the hard work. And those who are willing to do the hard work, you're not willing to get them the gear. And that's what it takes to separate yourself from your fucking next door neighbour. Be it 
aesthetic wise or physical performance wise. Why don't you watch your fucking next door neighbour to work out? Because that person looks fucking normal. So you want to see freaks. You want to see people fucking running like Usain Bolt. You want to see freaky shit. And that's the world we live in, man. It's fucking Hollywood. Get fucking real. No one's fucking natty. Don't ask me that question ever fucking again. Because no one's natty. If they're a champion, they do things. They do special little things.